which is uh, again one of the most important part and here comes your work in rest of the things we are choosing to believe in the universe but in this part comes your work so you know once you are following all the steps you open yourself up to receive you are opening yourself energetically as well instead of you know anxiety doubt fear you are choosing to believe you are doing everything then you are getting clear on your what then you are getting clear on your why by doing that you are giving the fuel to your desires and then you are choosing to believe in that you are saying your affirmations so at this point what will happen is that you will your energy will be moved and uh, the difference one difference in law of attraction and manifestation is that in manifestation this is my definition you will not find it anywhere on internet apart from my blogs that uh, in this universe there is already a version of you listen carefully in this universe there is already a version of you which exist and it has everything it has everything that it desires it knows everything that it desires and wants and because it has everything figured out because it has everything it is vibrating at a very high energy it is vibrating at a very high frequency and to become this person law of attraction says that like attracts like but manifestation says that everything is within you if you are a content creator you will get it the content is not out there the content is within you right so it is as simple as that that everything is within you and you when you vibrate from such a higher energy so yes i was talking about the higher energy so you know manifestation says that it is already inside you so when when you know yeah i was saying that we have all heard that our thoughts create our reality but we don't get it that how how does it happen and you know all these uh, all these sayings all these quotes sometimes they do not make se- sense to us because we don't know what it means in real life so i'll tell you what it means what are our thoughts our thoughts are our emotions right it is created of an emotion what is an emotion and it is not like the, the the definition of emotion is not given by me it is there out there like since years so an emotion is energy in motion and if you remember you know we we have all studied this in i guess third or fourth grade uh, that energy cannot be created or destroyed but this is the law of the uh, uh, conversion of energy that the energy can be moved from one state to another state it can be transformed so the same thing goes that you know our higher vibrational energy and our low vibrational energy and our thoughts like so that that is what it means that our thoughts create our reality that when your energy when your emotions are negative it becomes your thoughts and you are vibrating from a negative energy and as you know that like attracts like as per the law of attraction so you keep experiencing you keep attracting negative things in your life in your experiences but when your thoughts are on positive note when your thoughts are on higher vibrational energy you create positive thoughts and it is it is just like you know everything is interrelated and you you attract positive experiences positive thoughts in your life so this is what it means that thoughts create our reality and here the fifth step is the fifth step and the important step is inspired action so uh, i'm sure you have heard of this word also uh, previously in a lot of uh, books if you have gone through it or wherever you have i'm sure heard of this so what it means uh, as i said in the previous live video that because you are following all the other steps in your life at this point you will be vibrating from a higher energy from higher vibrational energy and because of this you will you will receive help from the universe you will receive answers from the universe you will receive signs from the universe and here comes your role that you are supposed to take action here you need to take action and so you know some people ask that okay how do you identify it is a sign from the universe you will just know it right so i'll give you a very logical example so um for example that you are looking for a job 
यू हैपन टू गो टू सम पार्टी और एट सम फ्रेंड्स प्लेस और यू हैपन टू टॉक टू सम बडी एंड दैट पर्सन हैपन्स टू मैंशन लाइक यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब एट अ सर्टन कंपनी और इन सर्टन इंडस्ट्री and that person tells you uh, a friend's friend for example that person tells you that they are working in the same industry or they are working at that specific company so now this is the sign from the universe that you are looking for a job at a certain company and you when I mean, you are friends with this friend for a long time you have never met this other friend but now suddenly you are meeting this person and at a party this person is mentioning about their job this is a clear sign from the universe so don't walk away from this friend talk to this person ask them if they happen to know the hiring manager or you know maybe take their number maybe the next day reach out to your friend get the number of this person and ask them if they happen to know the hiring manager if they can pass your profile to the company if they can introduce you to the company if not hiring manager you know you don't need to stop at this point they don't know the hiring manager it's okay ask them does your boss know the hiring manager or do you know anyone in the company i mean if you are working at the company you must know someone there right so this is how you take inspired action you are attracting growth in your business you uh, meet someone who who mentions about some business opportunity so you ask because all these people you are meeting not by chance it is the help being sent by the universe you take action you are manifesting high vibrational relationship in your life or you are uh, in you know you are manifesting a life partner you throw a party or someone throws a party you go there but instead of meeting people you are sitting in a corner and you are just saying that you know i hate people of course you are giving out that energy you know we all have that one person at the party who is just sitting in a corner hating everyone if you be this person you will not be able to meet people you are there to meet someone go meet them you may meet you might end up meeting your life partner at any place right so this is what call what is called inspired action and when you take inspired action say for example like you know uh, um, like i replied to uh, i replied to shreya's story she had posted a story and that is how we got to talking like uh, i guess a month ago i followed her account or maybe a little more time ago but then i saw her challenge i saw her post i found it interesting okay the person is doing the person is doing something good so let me just follow her i saw her story at i guess it was around 11 or something at night i replied to her we spoke the other day in the morning but now what if i had thought that are yaar abhi to morning ke 10 baje kaun kisi se baat karta hai subah subah <laughs> see we can think like that right i mean i was not doing anything i was seriously not doing anything but still i could have chosen to be that lazy person and why should i talk to shreya i am worried about my business you know so this is what we do instead of looking at the opportunities we decide to sit at our desk put a hand on our head look at our desktop and think about it kidhar se aayenge client kidhar se aayegi paisa hai na we we do this thing instead what i did was i took an inspired action when i get to uh, meet an author because i am i run my publishing company i talk to them i don't block them so this is what is called taking inspired action and once you start doing this thing you know once you start doing this thing uh you will see the kind of opportunities that you are getting i mean it gets so interesting and that is how i live my life so at the end of this i will share a little experience before we get to the question answer round the last step the last step and again an important step this is just the sixth step okay i am only telling you six steps sirf six steps hain inko follow karna hai aur bahut effortlessly karna hai aisa nahi hai ki subah subah uth kar ke sochna hai ki are sonia ne che स्टेप्स दिए थे उसका जाप करना है इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू मेक इट अ पार्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ स्टाइल यू कैन चूज टू नॉट थिंक नेगेटिव यू कैन जस्ट कीप अड ऑन योर हार्ट एंड यू कैन से दैट डियर यूनिवर्स आई एम चूजिंग और यू नो यू कैन जस्ट से दैट इन दिस मोमेंट आई एम चूजिंग टू सरेंडर माई फियर एंड ईगो एंड डाउट एंड वट एवर द थॉट इज एंड आई एम चूजिंग टू बिलीव इन द यूनिवर्स यू जस्ट हैव टू डू दिस सिंपल थिंग सो लास्ट स्टेप इज acknowledge and 
gratitude so i mixed these two things because um i just liked it that way <laughs> so you know it is important it is important that you know and this is the most important part if you miss out on this thing and you know this is the part where where you know it gets playful i mean do you want do you want this to be like the studies of mba where you are opening up your book you are following certain steps exam nahi hai ye it is our life we have to make this experience playful right and that is when we will do it otherwise our mind see how many times have you downloaded a free ebook or you have you know gone through a free training for certain thing but you never pursued that thing because our mind our mind always diverts us so here we need to create that playfulness acknowledge acknowledge the simpler things that you have in your life okay uh, right now it is so important it is so important in our life at this moment acknowledge acknowledge uh, the good health that you have acknowledge even if you are worried about our health there is something good about you i mean it can't happen that you know there is nothing good about you or your life there is you have a roof over your head you have people in your family you have food you have your hands you have your eyes you have this phone i mean i am so grateful to have this phone because if i did not have this phone how would i be here talking to you guys right so say acknowledge every small things in your life and when you start doing that you show it to the universe that you care about things when i say thank you uh thank you for this food i'm giving out a message that i value my food and universe loves people who value things and it is same with us as well right if you have two people in your life two friends in your life and you give something to one friend like you give something to both your friends but there is one friend who values this thing but the other friend is just like okay i don't care about it Yeah. what will you do you will always be i mean you'll still stay friends with both of them but you will be more inclined towards this other friend and whenever they call you and if you have to make a choice you will go to this friend who values the thing you will first go to this friend right why because they value the importance of things in the life so the same is with the universe acknowledge start acknowledging things and express your gratitude when you express your gratitude you again say and you know it is very simple i'll i'll say to you that uh, again i'll say to you in very uh, you know second grade uh, language when someone gives you something when someone does something for you what do you do you say thank you mummy ne sikhaya tha hai na ye bhi sikhaya tha but humne nahi mana <laughs> so it is as simple as that ki jab koi kuch deta hai jab hamare liye koi kuch karta hai hum kya karte hain hum thank you bolte hain why because it is the basic courtesy and jab hum thank you bolte hain hum us person ko zyada pasand aate hain automatically aisa hota hai so that is what we are supposed to do and that is why uh, that is why you know the gratitude part that is why acknowledging is is so important and you know especially i'll i'll especially mention this thing for entrepreneurs and i have also missed out on this part earlier but now i never miss this thing so you know we become so busy in our life we become so busy in setting up our business we uh, so busy in doing everything that we 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 forget to celebrate ourselves we forget the achievements you know say for example you are earning 50000 a month right now some month you end up earning 52000 you will not appreciate that 2000 what will you think are 2000 rupees to bade na i want 1 lakh a month but you don't realize that these 2000s will make you reach to the 1 lakh right and when you appreciate and it is not just about the money part you have to appreciate your own self as well you have to celebrate your own life as well so so you know like what i do is after every project after every project that ends i treat myself i take a pause earlier you know when i was working this was the case you know i would be working in my next role already even before i was promoted i thought it was the good thing to do i was like you know i i always want to do something extra in life so you know i'll always start taking the responsibility in advance and i'll always get that promotion 
it was all good i was getting a high payment uh, you know uh, 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 salary checks every month i was so happy but after a point i was so frustrated because i did not have time to enjoy that money and i literally i literally one day left my job i had nothing in my hand the next day you know and at that point i did not even know that you could ask your parents for money i am that weird person <laughs> i really did not know that you could ask your parents for money and then but you know i just left the job i did some you know small typing work as well for some people because i needed money right for petrol and for all the things so yeah that that's what happens and now i appreciate everything everything so much and now whenever any project ends even if i have earned you know just like 25000 20000 from a project i at least buy a lipstick for myself i go out and eat if nothing i do not work for two days sunday saturday ko nahi karungi kaam kuch nahi karungi i'll just sit at the chair i will not even move matlab ghar ka raja to main hi hu main kuch nahi karungi i will not even read a book i will not even drink tea kyunki usme bhi mehnat lagti hai i can and i can do that i can sit at a chair and i can enjoy myself I have done that. I can do that. I I can't watch movies because um, I can't. I mean, I can't come to the terms to it. And because when I do, I just watch for twelve uh, thirteen hours. And um, so yeah. So this is. I I hope you understand why why it is important to uh, you know uh, give appreciation. And one last thing I'll mention. अगर ये समझ में नहीं आया है तो इस पॉइंट पे तो सबको समझ में आ जाएगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू लिव विथ समन योर लाइफ पार्टनर और यू आर इन कॉलेज एंड यू लिव विथ अ रूम मेट यू वेक अप एवरी डे यू मेक देर मॉर्निंग टी यू मेक ब्रेकफास्ट फॉर देम वंस इन वाइल यू मेक अलॉट ऑफ पीपल आर लॉलिंग इन द कमेंट राइट नाउ बट सो यू नो दिस लाइक यू यू मेक tea for this person every day you make breakfast for them on sunday you make something special uh even if it is for a roommate you do all of these things but you know every day this person gets on the table and after drinking the tea they just leave they don't say a word they don't say they don't even have a smile on their face how would you feel and yes, even you know Like you'll be pissed off. You'll be like, okay, why, why? And after a point, after a point will come when you will stop putting the extra efforts, and a point will come you'll stop putting any effort at all. Why? Or you know, even like for an example, if if you know you are making a nice tea for someone, and that person says, ah, just a cup of tea. A chai hi to banana thi. Isme kaun si badi baat hai? But that is what we do in our business. छोटा सा तो क्लाइंट है यार आई वॉन्ट समथिंग सो बिग इन माई लाइफ आई आज द यूनिवर्स फॉर सच बिग मिरेकल्स एंड वॉट डिज द यूनिवर्स गिव मी सच अ स्मॉल क्लाइंट बट डोट गेट इट मे बी यू सर्व दिस क्लाइंट एंड दिस क्लाइंट विल गो आउट एंड टॉक अबाउट योर बिजनेस एंड यू माइट गेट यू माइट गेट आई मीन दिस क्लाइंट मे बी गॉट यू एन ऑर्डर ऑफ अ केक बट you give your 100% make it the best cake of your life this person will go out and get you the order of an entire party yeah right that is what happens that is what applies to any business someone comes to you if you are a content writer someone comes to you to get only one blog uh, to get written don't don't you know just just become that person who does not appreciate the tea don't do that because this person might go out or maybe this person you don't know who this person is they might start an entire business and they might get the entire content written from you if not today if not today after 2 years of time as well and after 2 years also the money will still hold value to you the business will still hold value to you right yeah. so it is like now you can relate you know when i say yeah. this thing that you need to express gratitude or you need to acknowledge people don't don't relate to it with these small things and this is where we miss guys we should not be missing out on all these uh things right so this is the simple process of manifestation and uh, if you follow these simple steps if you follow these simple process i'll just tell you in one simple line 
what will happen and you just imagine after this video ends you think about it instead of being worried ever in your life instead of ever getting anxiety fear and doubt around any area of your life how would you feel if you have someone to rely on to how would you feel if the universe is guiding your way and the moment you are in some situation you are receiving the help how would you feel if this next thing feels good if this feels right start following all these process and slowly slowly it will become a part of your life you will not have to put any extra effort you will not have to write you know journals every day you will not have to do all the big efforts this will help you literally to change your life so yeah this was the training and now you guys can ask me your questions and i hope Thank it was so helpful much. yes yes immensely <laughs> immensely so even i have read all of these books uh, you know which uh, which teach you about law of attraction like those are very very popular ones upon a time right so i've read them too but and i do believe in it but at the same time i wouldn't really know how to actually break it down and apply it step by step and this has been very helpful so this is uh, seven seven steps right and six 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 steps yeah so <laughs> so this is going to be very very simple and uh, thank you for explaining everything so in in such layman terms <laughs> <laughs> so yeah seriously yeah mm. <laughs> all right so i initially um in the morning today uh, i had put up a uh, questions to yes. ask for any questions so uh, the, you actually answered all of them in your in your talk but there was a, just one or two i think that you know let me just ask you yes so the first step uh, the first question was uh, how do you how do you be regular with this practice okay how do you be regular so uh, uh, as i said make it a part of your life make it a part of your lifestyle the way it is very obvious for you to get up in the morning and drink your coffee and drink your tea make it a part like the moment you start to feel like you first of all go through this entire process uh, i'm sharing the uh, worksheet with you you go through it if you want you can go through it every month for the coming 2 3 months of time and once you have gone through it once you will see the difference it makes in your life once you have done this thing you make it a part of your lifestyle the way you know when you are feeling the anxiety even when you are in the middle of a meeting you can always go to the washroom close the door and keep a hand on your heart and say that i am choosing to to surrender my worries and my doubts and after a point it will become that you will not even need to keep that hand on your heart you will not even need to do anything uh, you will just do it and to create a routine around it so like i mean till this point also i i mean it is it has now become a part of my life i uh, it's not that i don't worry i of course worry about things i of course run into situations but now i have figured out to move away from this so um, choose one or two things so one thing can be visualization uh or the another thing i i told you to close your eyes and imagine uh, the outcome imagine the outcome in the uh, third step where you get clear on your why and you uh, so, uh, you know you give the fuel to your desires basically so close your eyes and think of the end part the goal when you have achieved it remember that good feeling in your mind you can say your affirmations so to become to to make it a routine every day in the morning and before sleeping you can sleep by saying your surrender statement and your affirmations okay okay so i think that explains the uh, question that has just come come up can we do this every morning to this, start with so yes you can do this you can do this and you don't need to do all the steps if you can it is good it will do wonders in your routine it will do the wonders but if you can not do everything you can just do your affirmations you can close your eyes and you can you can do the last step acknowledge and express gratitude because when you begin your morning with expressing gratitude for the things that you have you will not complain in your day you know we we, we often get to complaining about things but if you are doing this thing like because you know you have your hands you can type with it on your laptop oh my god i have a laptop as well laptop is working because the wifi is there oh my god i even have wifi 
Wi-Fi is there because I am paying the bills. Okay, that means that I have some money. You know, that is how it it gets multiplied in things. I started with thinking about having hands, and we reached to having money. So yes, this is. Uh, I hope uh, Sankriti, uh, you got the answer uh, to your question. Right. So if there is any other question, let me know. So I'll move ahead. All right. Okay. So, uh, is it necessary to maybe how how much time will this take if one has to do all seven steps? Mm, time steps. in achieving the things or yeah. time in the process? <laughs> in getting it, in achieving it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you, it can take as as you know. Um, as quickly as in an hour and as so it's like you always have to believe in the divine timing and i'll answer this thing in one statement and after that i'll give you the answer so you know the a few days ago i was talking to my husband and i met him when i was i guess 27 years old and so you know i was like uh, uh, a few days ago or a few months ago i was talking to him about this and i told him that i'm so happy i'm so happy i lost my touch with this process of law of attraction and manifestation or i would have attracted all the wrong guys in my life you get it <laughs> you always have to believe in the divine timing of the things if it will happen whenever it is supposed to happen you have to keep working towards it and sometimes you know sometimes in the process you realize that this is not what you really wanted you want something else you want something better because as i said our desires are often derived and directed by our fear and the expectations and pressures of others but when you begin on this journey you will realize you will start you know exploring your own self you will start exploring your soul and you will get to know what are your real desires so sometimes it will happen that when you begin you write a desire and that desire may not come true but it will lead you it will lead you to a better thing so that is what i guess happened with me so I, you know i always joke about this thing to my husband that i'm so happy that i lost touch with this thing in between and that is the reason i have manifested you in my life so i hope i answered that question <laughs> uh, so uh, one more question was that i believe in it but my husband doesn't believe in it so will it still work <laughs> i love this question i love 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 this question and i answer to this all the time so you cannot manifest for other people or you cannot force other people to believe in this uh because she because this person is asking about uh, her husband i'll give the example of my husband as well when i met him so you know he 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 happens to be this person who is just so focused on sports who is an extreme extrovert who does not believe in anything like you know all these talks of energy and soul and all these things yeah. so when i got married it was important for me as well what you need to do is you can um, you can keep doing your thing if you live with you know i'll tell you if you live with uh, live in a family of 10 people if all those people are negative but you are positive you are doing your thing the negativity of all those people will not impact you you will still you will like you know this is the thing that people think that okay if i live with negative people their negativity will take over me it does not happen it happens when you give in to it but if you are focusing on your positive thing it will not have a negative impact on that and also about this thing like it's you know like your husband may not be negative about it but he does not believe in this thing so never force anything on anyone you keep doing your thing you know for example you manifest a cup of coffee your husband will see that you manifest 10000 rupees your husband will see that you manifest a trip to somewhere your husband will see that fourth time your husband will ask you baby how did you do that yeah hena <laughs> so you can't force it on that and also what you can do is you can manifest this thing that the other person is believing in this so i also you know i never manifest 
a job for my husband like you know a few months ago he was thinking about changing his career he was thinking that should he start his own business or should he do his job so i never did my meditation for him but what i used to do is and what i used to write in my journal is that arjun has figured out what he wants to do with his life i mean who am i to decide something for his life even sometimes i don't know what do i want from my life i mean why should i go and interfere in his life right so even if he is my husband i am not deciding anything for him so you can like uh, the person who asked this question uh, you can always say this thing that my husband is looking at my results and he has also started believing in this thing you close your eyes and visualize that you and your husband are both writing something in your notepad that this is what you are manifesting you create all these positive stories in your head and you will see the result of this thing that makes so much sense <laughs> that makes so much sense so uh, there's a live question here tejaswini is asking that uh, sometimes people say uh, they will help you but actually they are not helping us why does this happen okay um so uh, i don't know if it is exactly in what context uh so you know here you will have to depend you will have to depend on your inspired action and you will have to say all your positive affirmations and the universe will remove these negative experiences from your life and maybe maybe this is your limiting belief and when i answer anything please don't take it on heart that i'm saying that you are doing something wrong even i do this thing even i have my limiting beliefs so till now i had this limiting belief that i cannot multitask in kitchen but now we are all doing it right so <laughs> you know that way we have this limiting belief that we will like you know if we are doing this thing for example if we do business in partnership we will always get cheated you know this is one thing our parents everyone says it at least in indian society yeah. that partnership mein kabhi business mat karna paise leke bhag jayega yeah. right so this is a very strong belief so when you are uh, you know following all these things when you are vibrating from such a positive energy you will not meet these people and even if you end up meeting these people the universe will remove them from your way that makes yeah that makes sense that makes sense right so <laughs> yeah so i think that 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 should be all we've covered all the other questions you've already uh, covered them in um, in the steps and the process so if there are any more questions please just write them in the comment box right now or uh, or else that we'll call it a day for today <laughs> and yes. uh, once, once again the people who are uh, joining in a little late uh, there is a workbook which uh, sonia will be uh, sending to all of you so just email uh, send me your uh, email address on a direct message and and we'll have it emailed to you so that's yes. all thank you so much sonia once again for being here this was <laughs> so informational and honestly so much fun and i can't I, I think I'm already getting excited about now putting it to work. <laughs> so thank you yes. so much again. Yes, and thank you for inviting me. And I really hope that all the people who went through the session or who are going to go through the replay, uh, please use all these things in your life because I have used it. I know a lot of people who have used it. and i have literally manifested i mean i guess maybe i forgot to mention this thing in the beginning or the people who have joined in, in this second video that i have literally manifested my entire life around this and uh, you know when i dived deeper into this it happened because i had an accident and you know in that accident i mean it was very uncertain time in my life and doctors did not say it to me but you know there was a lot of uncertain certainty around my you know like when will i walk if i'll walk properly or not you know the doctors say wo hindi mein bolte hain ki 19 20 reh jayega and all the kind of language was going on around me but what i decided i made a choice instead of giving up i decided i made a choice that i am going to heal myself and despite of being you know in a wheelchair on my own wedding day i was healed it took time it took time of 2 3 months 
it took me around 6 months to fully walk on my own and i guess entire one year of time it took me one year to walk with confidence you know like or else i used to you know look for wall around and i, I used to get so scared but it happened i have manifested my own two businesses which are very successful i have manifested my husband and he he you know like i ended up checking my like you know uh, i was not that girlish girl who had all those things but somehow i had i had you know this uh, one note where i had written everything about what i wanted in my husband so uh, i found it out somewhere and uh, my husband is exactly the same person even his skin color i know it sounds crazy but <laughs> even i i had written this how his complexion should be i mean i had written that he he should be 62 and 63 with shoes matlab main itna specific thi ki uska height 62 and with shoes 63 and i am 51 <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so it was a very funny thing for people and people will be like ki jodi nahi jamegi and i was like dude aise nahi hota hai dil milne chahiye wo sab jo cheeze hoti hain right so i mean imagine such such you know uh such kind of things i had mentioned in uh, in my list and he is exactly the person he is like literally exactly the person that i had ordered <laughs> that is oh. <laughs> अगर कभी भी डाउट हो ना कभी भी डाउट हो सो टेल यू वन थिंग हम एमेजोन पे ऑर्डर करते हैं बट एमेजोन पे ऑर्डर करने के बाद डू यू जस्ट लीव everything and you know do you just sit at your door and you do you keep calling the amazon people mera order kab aayega mera order kab aayega i mean it looks good seeing in a meme wo meme tak hi enough hai but it doesn't happen in the real life nobody sits at their door that mera order kab aayega do you keep calling the amazon guy you don't right so it is the i mean you choose to believe in amazon service delivery yeah. हाँ एमेजोन का डिलीवरी सर्विस यू कैन बिलीव इन बट यू कैन बिलीव इन द यूनिवर्स हु रन एंटायर वर्ल्ड है ना सो बस नेक्स्ट टाइम जब डाउट हो तब रिमाइंड करवाना दैट डिलीवरी आ जाएगा after this i will be putting this uh, video up on our feed and also in the stories so please uh, you know please watch out for that and once again do send me your email id so that we'll send the work uh, worksheets to you and uh, if you have any doubts about the process or if you want to get in uh, get about formally coached by sonia so you can always contact her i will be tagging her in the uh, comments below so that's all from us thank you so much all of you lovely people it was really really nice having you here and listening to us for the last one and a half hour now <laughs> it's been so much fun thank you so much yes uh, stay safe and you know work on your business and work on everything that sonia taught you all right see you bye bye